today I want to actually open up two different kits and do a comparison to uh, to see what the differences really are in the kits. One is a copyright date of 2022. The other is 2023. They're both I Love kits. They are the M4A3E8 Sherman. One is the EZ8 and the other one is listed as a medium tank dash late. Let me show you. So here's the, uh, the first kit and I was pretty excited when this thing came out. I haven't started it, obviously. Actually, I haven't started a lot of the kits I have. But anyways, this was a 2022 copyright date. It, it is a smaller box. It's a 16th scale kit. Um, and then this is the one that came out in 2023. So the box is larger. And it does have a detail upset. So I do expect, you know, there's extra parts just for that but is the excuse me but is the plastic the same so i'm going to lay out both kits on this table and uh, take a peek at it now just right away when you do a comparison of the box art and what it what, can, what it contains is you have some marking differences obviously um so both kits are definitely going to come with two different sets of decals as indicated here looks like we've got some of the same photo etch parts this one has a metal gun barrel the older kit i don't know if this one does or not so we'll find out when we get into it um the uh the next thing you do is you drop your phone like i just did <laughs> anyways uh so we've got uh times 31 pieces that's interesting so we're gonna have to see what this is all about times 42 pieces that must be the amount of pieces on the on the photo etch set 26 line items there we got a resin figure a round bar some chain okay but no indication of a metal barrel and this one yeah Box art isn't all that different here. So we look like we got some of the similar artwork here. Okie doke. Here's how we look when we open this box. And over here, we can see how this one is packaged. We do have a divider here. Right, a divider box just like we do here. Different things are packed differently. So, I'm thinking, yeah, let's lay this stuff out side by side and see what we got. So, what we can see right away, I've got both kits sprawled out on the table. And they're really close as far as contents. The Easy 8 does have the aluminum barrel okay but the medium tank dash late version does not the big differences between the tanks are the tracks so you've got uh this track set up for the easy eight okay and you can see the track pattern there and these come in a bag along with track pins and the late version track assembly comes this way so you're going to be a lot of cutting uh potential cleanup work and that kind of thing and you can see that the track pattern is different, all right? Sherman tanks had several different track patterns. Some had rubber blocks, some were just pure metal. So that, that's some of the differences. The clear parts are the same. Um, the, the hull, the upper hull, and the turret cast numbers are the same. There's no difference there. Uh, I did notice a difference in this packaging. Um, this one comes in a, in a plastic bag. And on the late version, it comes in a plastic bag, but it's also wrapped with this foam for protection because you do have some very thin uh, guards, excuse me, uh, and things like that that go around the headlights and all that kind of stuff that need protection. But being packed this way, it doesn't appear to be damaged. So these are the same parts. The front transmission housing, okay? Um, there's no difference there. They got the same, let's see here, 19, whatever. They got the same uh, 
same cast numbers on there. This one's packed with the pins inside the bag. This one is not. This one has the, the springs and cable packed in the bag with it. And the springs and cables for this are packed in a separate box. Okay, sprue number, uh, let's see, letter, what is this? I'm blind as hell and I can't see what I'm looking for. It looks like MJ. Okay. Notice the difference. So you got similar parts uh, between the two, but this one has extra bump outs for the, uh, I believe it's the exhaust in the back. So, and there's some other panels here. So there is a difference on that part when it comes to the top deck of the hull and the rear portion of the tank. So those are some of the differences on the early and late version. <clears throat> uh, cupola, cupola parts are the same. There's no difference in there. You've got part of your 50 caliber machine gun is, is part of this set. Um, you can see that in here. All right, a lot of detailed parts. And then there is a, I don't know if this is the spare barrel or not, or the one that goes with the kit but you have that in the antenna, um, you know, the, uh, what do you call that, the pintle and the mounting yoke or whatever for the, for the weapon. Uh, this one here, this photo etch piece is sort of out by itself, and the track pins are separate, in a separate bag as for this set. <clears throat> Over here, the extra box that you get with the uh, the late version looks like this okay and this is full of the spring you know the springs the uh looks like there's some i don't know what part that is it looks like some i don't know there's spring loaded stuff in there so who knows i don't know what that is maybe it's a comp radio box or something for the back of the tank i have no idea um resin figure uh, figures, uh, plural. See, there's one head. So I don't know if... Is that one guy maybe you have in the tank and out of the tank options? Nice looking resin figure, though. Pretty good detail. Also in the box comes the sprockets, which are listed separately here in this bag. And those have the... Uh, the top deck plates, which look a little bit different than the late version. <clears throat> also in the box, you have the extra photo etch sets. All right, that is listed in there. I don't. The thing is, though, I'll be honest with you, they didn't. I don't think they really needed to have that much bigger of a box to get all this to fit. But that's okay. It's all marketing, man. It's all good. This looks like it's going to be a fun kit to build. So all the little pieces, parts are here. Everything's accounted for. And the glaring obvious differences are the markings, some of the hull pieces, the track definitely, um, and the fact that that does not come with a metal barrel. And uh, that kind of sucks because the two plastic barrels appear to be identical. And here are some of the turret parts. So you are going to have to put that that uh, barrel together and clean it up, get rid of the mold lines and all that business. But everything else looks to be the same. All right, well, let's make sure I'm not lying to you. So that's pretty much it. So let me uh, turn the camera off. I'm going to lay the instructions down and we'll put the de decal side by side and you can see those. Um, but yeah, holes, uh, the holes don't look any different. <clears throat> Okay, same stuff, rubber, road wheels, uh, tires or whatever. And of course you have the, uh, the uh, mantlet cover uh, in here. And that's gonna be interesting to see how, how you glue or adhere this type of rubbery material to the plastic without it getting all funky. So we're gonna have to get creative with that when it's time to build this. But yeah, I saw the kit and it came out. I'm like, why gotta have them both? Because there are two different versions. Hang tight, let me flip the camera around.
All right, I have the, uh, I left the two hulls and uh, the turret out. Um, you know, there's some really nice uh, cast texture on these things, and uh, you'll see that when you get the kit. Now, I'm not going to unbag stuff because I'm not, I just don't want to do it yet. But you can see the, the casting in there. Looks good. All right, so both kits come with, obviously, instructions. The instructions don't significantly start to change until you get to page 7 uh, of, of, of the build because now you're messing with the hull and the two different versions of tanks have two different types of sprockets on the front. You know, one is uh, more of a solid uh, type uh, sprocket. And let's see here. I think I almost wonder if I had the instructions backwards. <laughs> um, now this is funny. This is funny. It's not funny, but it is. So on the EZ-8 tank, all right, it is showing the separate, it's showing this sprocket situation. Look at the artwork on it, okay? And that is a, uh, a situation where the outer ring of the sprocket is removable from the actual hub itself. And that's what's shown for the medium tank, the newer kit. However, it's asking you to put on a different type of solid uh, face sprocket, which is more durable. On the older kit, it is asking you, now look at the artwork. You see that sprocket design? And on this kit, the sprocket's different. All right, those of you that are gearheads know what I'm talking about. It's a different sprocket design for the tank. So this one's telling you to build it to look like that one. And this one is telling you to build it to look like that one. So my question is, did they accidentally get the artwork switched, you know, and put the Korean markings on that? Because I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Um, uh, I don't know. So maybe, uh, maybe, maybe Watson's Models needs to do a little research on both the tank track type as a uh, compared to the sprocket type to make sure that it was appropriate for the later model because the uh, because the image is showing something different so be interesting to see if they got those switched up but anyhow in step seven is when you start to notice changes and that is when you're building up the transmission housing uh, the front sprockets and stuff like that and then of course it moves right into the lower hull um, step seven on this one here it starts to do work on the hull sooner and then we get into the two different track types all right and <clears throat> so that's it so that's where the differences start on the on the model here are the two different decal sets okay here's the late and here's the early and i'm sorry you can't see the the stuff behind it but all your stars and whatnot and then your googly tigers you know the enemy was deathly scared of freaking tigers uh where they were at and so we were kind of smart and painted that stuff on the front of our tanks to be all superstitious and wig out the enemy right that's kind of what they did all right you get some painting guides all right painting and marking guides i'm staying behind it so the light doesn't shine through as much Okay, there you go. Lots of options. You'll have to buy one kit for every option. That's a quick quick way to get divorced. And then uh, <clears throat> this version. Okay. Shows you this. And if you want to build it, like one of Andy's Hobby Headquarters 16 scale tanks, you have the red face version on the front. So they do give you the decals for that as well. But we will do it like this. It's scoozy. There we go. <clears throat> also, there's another little set of instructions that come with this late version kit, which covered down on all the photo etch parts and the resin figure that comes with it. All right. And this is really to up detail the turret, the machine gun location, everything, ammo boxes, let me get this open so you can see it. 
See? A lot of, lot of good stuff. A lot of greeblies! All right? But this one here really is going to outfit the hull nice. So that's another big major difference in your build. Putting on these metal guards as opposed to the plastic ones that come with it. So, that's it. That's the difference. No metal barrel, metal barrel. Directions change at step seven, it appears, and the sprockets don't appear to match what the instructions say. Did this get reversed? Some of you experts out there might know the answer to that question. Either way, it's an awesome looking kit. And I'm looking forward to building it. Thanks for watching. Get out there and work on your stuff. Put on a small part. Yeah. Now get out there and work on your models.